How is it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. My name, of course, is System Z, and as you can see, we have finally recovered from the tragedy that happened in the last episode. I actually just got back from the end. I kid you not. I died on stream and lost everything, and I had to basically rage quit, but I finally, over the past few days, have managed to recover. I've got the elytra, and I'm almost done with my tools. I don't have anything enchanted, though. As you can see, we are missing Feather Falling 4, but 3 will do, and then, of course, no mending. But that is okay. My friends, today is a very fantastic day because we are about to go check out all of the new features in the latest snapshot. Particularly one in particular, but first coming in hot. Oh geez. We are gonna have to do a couple of things one a creeper blew up my house How nice I know but also we need to check out what's going on here I know what you may be thinking Z this looks a little bit different. Have you done something with the place? Why yes, I changed the brick now. I'm kidding <laughs> before I was using iron bars as chains in my custom resource pack, but I don't have to do that anymore because in Snapshot 20W16A, they have officially added chains to Minecraft. As a matter of fact, we are able to actually craft them. We're gonna need a little bit of iron nuggets, and with that, we should be able to make chains. Oh my gosh, there they are, officially. Like, I kid you not, this is a real item. We have officially got chains in Minecraft, and I could not be any more happy about it. Look at this. Well, I guess it doesn't work in this case, but you could just place chains. I never would have thought they would have added something like this, but they have done it. So, of course, that means we're gonna have to fix up the place and change all of the iron bars over into chains. Honestly, this is probably the most exciting feature. Now, while I do this, I really encourage you guys to check out the piglin rap that I recently did. At least, cue it up so that you can watch it after this episode. Trust me, you are not gonna wanna miss it. I spent all day working on that yesterday, and honestly, I am- it's stuck in my head. Please send help. I, I cannot stop singing it in my own head. Or at least wrapping it. It's not really a song, but just just go watch it and let me know what you think. And last but certainly not least, this is the final one. Where did the lantern go? Oh, jeez. I've lost. Oh, there it is. Okay, grab that and boom. Looking good. And the thing is, it looks no different from the last episode. I mean, it basically looks exactly how it did with my resource pack, but it feels good knowing that chains are official. Now the question is, will we be able to make chainmail armor with this? I don't imagine so, I don't see why they would do that, but I've seen a lot of suggestions for it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. The good news is that I have got my inventory all cleaned up. The bad news is that I just realized the wither might very well still be in the nether. I have no idea. Now, if it is, then we're probably just gonna do everything we possibly can to avoid it, but hopefully it's not there. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I definitely did not destroy it because obviously we lost. So yeah, but we've got this place looking a little bit better, getting it all cleaned up. Boom. Looking good. It's almost like a creeper explosion never happened. So today, we are going to go to the nether and we're going to not only fill up this shulker box filled with basalt and blackstone, but we're also going to find a new bastion. The only problem is I don't have mending on my elytra, so this could go very badly. I could fall out of the sky randomly. We're going to have to be very careful. But before we do go, I'm going to make a lodestone. I've also got two compasses, as you can see. I did lose the other one, so we're going to have to reset the nether portal because when I died, I lost everything. I mean, it was a really sad event. I don't know if you guys realize exactly how terrible last episode went, as well as the live stream that followed after. Oh, man. And now my day has gotten even worse. Oh, jeez. Okay, all right. No. Oh, gosh. I don't have enough room to back up here. <laughs> this isn't good. I mean, what are the chances? Oh, and it looks like an explosion happened here, maybe. Did it just go back in? Meaning it's now gonna... It's waiting for me on the other side. That's... Oh, that's fantastic. All right, let's set the compass. We are good. I'm gonna make sure to remember that. As a matter of fact... We should probably use one of these very expensive anvils to go ahead and rename this. Boom, looking good. Now we will never forget exactly where the nether portal is. So now we can just kind of go off, head off into the distance, and just, oh geez, okay, maybe maybe be very careful here. I, I'm probably gonna die again today. Well, the elytra is down by half. That means we're probably not gonna be able to do much exploring. I probably should have gotten some phantom membrane. But as you can see, we are here, we are back in the Basalt Delta, and fortunately, we have no wither, which is fantastic. 
Don't really know what happened, but I'm not going to complain. That is where we fought it, and that is also where we died. So let's not make that happen again. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and quickly fill this up. I'm not going to make you watch that, but this is something I wanted to do last episode. So I want to go ahead and knock this off the list. You know, I'm sitting here mining this, and I just had an idea. Let's battle the wither. No, I'm kidding. We're, <laughs> that's not happening again. Uh, I just wanted to scare you a little bit. <laughs> All right, looking good. Now, I will say, this is why you always hold shift. Yeah, that could have been bad. Fortunately, it works as the perfect trash can. I know what you may be thinking. Why are you wasting those materials? Well, I've got a shulker box full, so I don't need them. But that being said, I think I'm going to head back home and grab some phantom membrane and an anvil because I think that's how you repair the elytra. And to be honest, I'd rather not have to walk back home. So hopefully we don't already have to do that. <laughs> now that being said, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of faithfully jump into the void of the nether and we are just going to head back home. Wish me luck. Now, the only reason I'm starting here is because there should be a creeper on the other side of this. So I didn't want to... Oh, and it, yep, yep, that's, that's, that's why I wanted to make sure I was recording right there. I've only got two phantom membranes, which is great, and I just slept, so it's going to be a couple of nights before I can actually get more, but I'm curious, how much does one actually, yeah, okay, <laughs> maybe we try and get an unbreaking enchantment, that might be a little bit better. I never have any luck with this sort of thing, but we're going to try it, hopefully we can get unbreaking three, efficiency four, not when I need it, and now we cannot do any more, that's fantastic. <laughs> Ah, back to the XP grinder. We built this on stream, by the way. I don't know if you remember that I did showcase that we had a spawner right over here in the side of this mountain. Well, fortunately, it has come to the rescue when it comes to recovering from the wither battle. There we go. You gotta love XP, you know? It's just probably one of the best sounds in Minecraft. Well, how lucky is that? Unbreaking three! Second try! That is awesome! Okay, so now we should have enough to put this on our elytra. I don't see why not. There we go. Looking pretty good. Efficiency four probably doesn't need to go on the elytra. That's fine. All right, so now we need to go find the bastion. We are already so far into this episode. I apologize. Let me get my inventory cleaned and we will head that way. Ow. Oh, geez. Okay. I kid you not. I was about to record. That is perfect. <laughs> All right, so there's actually one more thing that I recommend you do if you are also going to do this, and that is grab a hopper. We also need to grab our gold pants because, you know, I definitely don't want to get slapped by a piglin. Uh, so let me grab a single chest so that I can make a hopper. Now, I know what you may be thinking. System Z, why in the world would I need a hopper to go to a bastion in the nether? Well, my friends, I'll show you. But first, we got to find one of these things. Also, I think I might have to crap. Nope, there they are. Perfect. We're looking stylish, as always. Let me know. From 1 to 10, how would I look? <laughs> okay, let's go back to the nether and do what I said I was going to do at the very start of the episode. Now we should be generating new territory. I don't really know how rare a bastion is, but I do know that you can find them essentially all over the nether. Now, I know I've been talking about King B-Dogs a lot, but he once again joined my live stream and he gave me some more details about the nether, so, or at least the bastion. So, while we're here, I'll go ahead and share some of them with you. Basically, the bastions can spawn in so many different ways. They don't have one single structure. They just procedurally generate based on various different shapes. Uh, there's a lot of cool different shapes that you might find as well, making each bastion all the more unique. And as you can see, perfect timing, we have just found one, which is fantastic. That's the entrance, or at least we're going to act like that's the entrance. In fact, I'm going to fly over here because this is actually a good example at one of the shapes. It's probably my favorite as well. It's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see the shape of a pig snout. This is supposed to be a face. This is one of the examples at how intelligent, while barbaric, the piglin actually are. Well, without further ado, oh gosh, my knees, that hurt. Let's, let's explore this thing. And, uh, oh... I'm a little afraid to get this gold, but maybe we save that for the end. I don't want them to be mad at me the whole time we're here. We'll, we'll definitely grab that before we leave. Pro strats. Hi! Oh, yeah. Okay, how rude. You know, it's kind of crazy. I didn't bring any gold to barter with, which is kind of funny, considering this is the one place you might want to do that. But as you can see, this thing is pretty hard to navigate. There's a lot of kind of interesting generation at best. We'll say that. But 
I mean, this thing is amazing. All in all, it is one of the, in fact, I think it is the biggest structure currently in Minecraft. Obviously, the Woodland Mansion is big, but this is actually procedurally generated. Therefore, making it the biggest random, I guess, dungeon that you have in the game. Now, the reason I said to bring the hopper is because this is the way you can keep the piglins from even knowing. This is highway robbery. We are currently just taking it from them. Look at this. They have no idea. Look at all that gold we just got. We could just barter that right back to them and they won't even know. In fact, I think I can barter this. You want that? I think he might actually trade something for that. Oh, the glasses are still on him. I completely forgot. That's okay. I think it adds to it. What's up, dude? How you doing? He's got the gold chain as well. You gotta love it. Oh, no. Okay, I opened it. Oh, no. Well, that was just rude. I say. <laughs> I am very bad at Minecraft, apparently. This is like, how many times am I gonna die, you know? <laughs> but, okay. We're back. Maybe if you bring a hopper, don't open the chest. That, yeah. That seems like a good idea. Okay, no way. Ancient debris. This, I know for a fact, is actually a decently rare loot that could actually spawn in the loot table for this particular chest. So that is awesome. We just got one free ancient debris, which is definitely nothing to complain about. Man, this place is awesome. There is a lot of really cool potential here. Now, I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments below. Which fortress do you like better? The Bastion Remnant or the Nether Fortress? I actually really, really like the way this looks. I mean, with this particular structure here, that's like a bridge. And then, of course, the snout, the entrance. This place is incredible. They have really, really done a great job. And honestly, it's a little bit crazier than anyone ever would have expected. I know whenever I was building the Bastions in my videos, I was building a smaller structure. I guess we never really thought that maybe this could be the way it was done. Now that being said, I do wish it was a little bit easier to navigate, but the nether isn't fun without a challenge. But this is really what I came for right here. I mean, I know we can craft them, but come on, free chains and lanterns? I cannot complain at all. And unfortunately, my inventory is now full, so I guess I can complain a little bit. Oh, we got the piglin banner as well. That's awesome. Well, I was just about to say there are no more chest spawns, but there is another chest hidden away right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a hopper under this one as well because, you know, I definitely want to stay alive during this entire adventure. But we can continue looting this place for everything that it's got. Gilded Blackstone as well, which is a new block. Now, I did learn a little bit more about this block. This is basically just a way for the piglins to flex. They're basically taking blackstone, gilding it with gold, and there you have it. They're just showing off their gold, which is very interesting. It definitely provides more characteristics, and I love that. Now, what I'm curious about is how in the world we get a music disc. I really want to hear the pig step, even though my entire rap was that and I heard it all day. But as you can see, we basically have a whole bunch of junk now. I'm going to grab my hopper back just in case we find more chests. But I would say this place has been fully looted. Except for all of the gold at the very front of the place. We just have to figure out how to do it without getting attacked. This is definitely going to be a little tricky because the Hoglin definitely do not like me being over here. But if we go ahead and block this off, we shouldn't be able to get attacked. I mean, honestly, I don't imagine we can get attacked anyways. All right, let's see if they even get mad if I mind this. I imagine they will. Yep, they very much do. Okay, he might have a way up here, so we're going to want to be very careful because if he manages to get up here, we are definitely done for. They pack a punch! Something I definitely did not expect. Oh, no. Oh, he's, he's cool now. He's cool. He's cool. He's got the gold. He doesn't mind. You can have that piece, buddy. I've got a whole lot more, so I don't even mind. Okay, we got it. Let's run. Very quickly, get out of here. We're gonna go see if we can find another Bastion. How is our Elytra doing? Looks like we're good to go. Oh, wait a minute. Yet again, another structure. This is amazing. So this is actually a ruined portal. Another feature that they added. But first, maybe we take out the gas. This is getting scary. Is that guy going in reverse? We've got our first ruined portal, which is awesome. Now, I don't see any piglin around, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab the gold. Definitely don't mind if I do. You know, I never would have gotten gold like this back in the day. I never really would have rushed to pick up the gold. But it's really nice because now gold actually has a use. And what do we got in here? A pressure plate, which is interesting. Looks like we got a couple of other things. Silk touch, that's cool, that's cool. Definitely don't mind. I'm going to grab the iron nuggets though because, hey, chains. And that's what I'm all about. 
And the search shall continue for yet again another Bastion. I think we might have just found another. I, I don't know if this is the same one or not. I think this is actually another one. Wow, we got lucky. And I almost just fell right down into lava, which is great. Okay, we're going to do the hopper trick. See if this works yet again. I don't know where my hopper is. All right, we should be good. I have it all blocked off, yet I'm still very scared to open this thing. But we got to do it. Okay, crossbow. Definitely don't mind. I actually kind of need one, so that's kind of perfect timing. Not going to worry about everything. Oh, ancient debris. That's great. Going to leave the golden helmet. Got to leave him something, you know. Uh, even better. I'm not going to get it, though, because it's barely even functionable. Okay, uh, I'd say this has been successful. Yes, we got loads of chains. We got ancient debris, two of them, which is fantastic. And now we make our escape. Could you imagine if the elytra just broke? <laughs> I've had such bad luck. Oh, wait a minute. This actually looks really cool, though. I don't know if they're actually mad at me or not, but I kind of want to... You know, maybe we don't. Maybe... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's going to knock me into lava. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This isn't good. Okay. Oh, wait. He's stuck. He is actually stuck. Okay. Um... Oh gosh, this is not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Because oh yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Maybe we just leave. Do all right, do we get the gold? How much is it worth? It's not worth it. Because I just I don't have enough. I'm gonna run. Oh gosh, okay. We did it! We have successfully conquered it. Now I gotta find my way back home. It looks like it's that way. Talk about barely making it. <laughs> Two fireworks. That is all we've got. Wow. Okay, so I would say this has been an absolutely successful trip. We did die, but that's okay. And to be honest, if that tells me anything, it's that we need to avoid that creeper at all costs. I don't know what is up with this base and mobs lately. It has been so bad, and I can't even sleep right now. And there's a creeper right outside. Can we actually see him? Hello? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Now that we've died so much, I think we need to go to the Woodland Mansion and grab a Totem of Undying. Or at least a couple of them. Because I, for some reason, am just not a good player anymore. I don't know what happened. But if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And consider subscribing and turning on notifications to be alerted whenever I next upload a video. Also, as I'm saying this, we now have 179 members of the workshop, which is absolutely incredible. I have an awesome set of news coming very, very soon, but one of them is that the Minecraft server is about to be updated to 1.15.2, so now is the perfect time to become a member of the workshop. Click join for more information. But that being said, we've got some very cool projects coming up in this series, but for now, that's going to do it for today. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.